Charles Wilson Peale's 1822 painting called The Artist in His Museum continues the story of the exclamation of the Macedon. Here we find Charles Wilson Peale in a self-portrait standing in front of his museum in Philadelphia. The, you know, to, to start, let's talk a little bit about what's in the painting. Uh, behind the red curtain is his museum itself. On the right, you see the Willie Mammoth that his museum was famous for, um, although you just see the legs and the rib cage. In the middle of the museum, or of this long hall of the museum, are a bunch of benches, and on the left side are a bunch of uh, glass cases where there's taxidermied birds. Um, at the top of the glass cases is a line of portraits um, of different people. In the foreground, we have the raw materials as if we were in the back or a workroom of the museum. On the left is a bird that's ready to be taxidermied. In front of it are the tools of the taxidermy. Um, and on the right are various bones. We have a, a jawbone and a leg bone. Um, it would be strange for this to be the woolly mammoth since in the background uh, we see the woolly mammoth, but it's of that size. So um, these are bones that are still yet to be put together or maybe even completed. And then above the bones is a palette and a set of paint brushes, the, the other tool of the artist. So um, the relationship between the foreground and the background is interesting because here uh, the, the viewer sits in the, back, in the foreground in the area of chaos and um, you know, unorganized nature. And the artist, through his lifting of the curtain and his, the, the position of his hand, is inviting us into the background where everything is organized and classified for the audience. And so, um, as an age of reason painting, this is explaining that the role of the artist is to organize nature and make nature uh, less chaotic and more clear. And so, uh, just the very position of the audience is to move forward from the chaotic into the organized. The second thing about the painting is just the combination of artist and scientist. In the next age, which we'll look at, the age of reason, or I'm sorry, the romantic age, uh, sci science and, and art were really seen as two sides of, of the spectrum, uh, almost at war with each other. But here, during the age of reason, the artist is the same thing as the museum owner or the scientist. And so that combination of both art and science uh, reached its height in the age of reason. The third thing that this does I think kind of in an interesting way um, is it explains the process that the scientific world was bringing the world through. So this was an intense period of, uh, of discovery and uh, to show that discovery, to show the beginning and then the end, the, um, the discoveries and then the presentation, um, I think was celebrating the stage of you know, the world at that point, which was this rapid progress of knowledge and discovery. Okay, so um, Peel uh, in 1822 uh, towards the end of his life is uh, expressing what he saw his life uh, up until that point to do which was as the artist and that's why the paintbrush and the um, t title are important. As the artist he does the job uh, that later will um, say is the job of the scientist.